says yes to all I eat grapes, tell us what you're doing here. Removing a substantial amount of aluminium yep. from the blower casings. Right. It's going to be the blower case. And we saw it last time round. And we remember that you left this ledge here and here. Mm -hmm. So you can clamp it down. I can clamp them when it's on, on the milling yeah. table. Uh, with a boring tool, you've got, you need a substantial hole in it anyway to get the boring bar in and yeah. the tool. So, I'm removing, like I say, we drilled one side out, so we're just taking this out to near enough to similar to that, and I can set them up on the table. Okay. And, uh, well, then the boring bar can come in and uh, take them to the required size. Okay, so let's just wipe off your uh, excess and let's see what you've got there. Okay, still a little hole, hole, yeah. hole. We, we have to go around, it, it's actually, they say the, the boring heads two and a quarter diameter, so you need a big hole in there before you Okay, so you just move the bits now, this way into the bit. Go, go another three mil. Three mil, and it'll spin around again. And go down. And then start to move this. And then, like, it, it, I, I've got this hole there where I know it's at 80 mil. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to take about, what, half an hour to get... Probably, probably half an hour just to get it done. Now I've got to turn it over, put the mandrel in this side and then... Yeah, exactly, yeah. In that case, we'll come back in half an hour, I walk with the camera and you can see a finished one. And we what? Okay, so we come back, have a cup of tea. Is you've it been, on? Yes, 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 it's on. Yeah. It's on. It's on. And good. Uh, good, you can see what's going on now. You've actually bored out that half. Well, well that now is to that. It, it's gone a fraction over. But and, what, and what is this test piece here? Well, that can go on the rotary table and then I can turn it over and take it out. Right. To that diameter. Because you can't go all the way through. No. Because the cutter isn't long enough. Right, okay. So, but what it'll do then, it'll give, it, it'll give me like a figure eight shape and then I can, I can set the borer up then to... Widen it out. Bore them, which we have. Where have we put it? I don't know. So we'll put it against there. It's upside down now. So there's your boring bar. Mm -hmm. That spins around and it's going to cut a that, great big hole. That'll go in there. Yeah. And that'll spin around and, and you, you can, can adjust it to extend it as it gets wider. And we can bore wider. them to suit okay. the rotors. It's heavy, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite it's, heavy. It's bit of quite, kit. well, it's. A hefty bit of kit. It's been designed so it can go the depth. You yeah. yeah. Okay, so carry on then and we'll see what happens next. I can take it off the mill now you've you done can. that. You can. Right. Okay, so there it is. You take it off the table. Mm -hmm. so you've gone about halfway down, or even more, yep. more than halfway down. Oh, it's, it's, it's about three quarters. Yeah. So what we've got to do now is uh, set it up with the mandle in there yeah. and take it that out. Then we can clamp it on there, remove yep. the tape, clamp it on there and yep. bore it. Right, okay. Or bore the, the few. Yeah, yeah. But okay. that I've got to get some work done on the table. So yes, that's right. Some important work for me. Some important work. Okay. Anyway, we'll come back another day and see that when it's finished. That'll be finished. Okay, so here we are back at Jeff's Shed. It's not a ghost winning the miller, it's just an auto feed and it's busily putting out that second hole in the supercharger case that we saw a few days ago. So it looks like it's coming along quite well and we'll just uh, wait for that to finish and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so prepare the next one. This is That's the one we did earlier. It's going to very slowly go down and uh, put out what's down there. We'll just put the camera in far enough. Okay, so while that machine is going on, I can show you one that Jeff made earlier, which is this one here. You can see there, the internals. Now, this isn't completely finished yet because, as it says, this is still in a machine state and needs a bit more hand work to smooth it all out. But that's the sort of general shape it needs to be to take two of these that interlock inside and thus create the pressure to uh, make the supercharger. And in fact, Jeff's on a bit of a roll now because he's not just making two, he's got this one and the one on the miller. He's making four altogether. There's one here where my hand is, you see that? And there's one underneath the bench down there that's a slightly different dimensions because it's made for a different blower for somebody else. So, plenty of work there to keep him busy.
and uh, yeah we'll come back when one of these is finished and we'll see it all together with the end plates next to the engine it should look pretty cool and then we can look forward to seeing it sitting here next to the Honda CB72 big bore drag race engine with its billet block which we saw being made on a previous vlog and hopefully the style of it will all match this block as well and that's the whole idea so I'm not sure how long that's going to take but uh, when it's all ready we'll be here to film it okay so yeah so you've been busy this last week so what have you been up to mm -hmm. with your Honda our crankcases that okay. the two center main caps have been bored out okay so that actually they will take now a 500 Honda T main bearing right a lot stronger uh, hopefully but the others are smaller the CB72 if we whichever whichever you use we're gonna have to make some sleeves up to go okay as for the original now which you can see they're the original crank bearings are they the roller bearings. that's the original one which was we've now moved it 4.5 millimeters right. forward so the whole point is you're moving the actual center base or the center line of the yeah. crank 4.5 well, mil you're moving it forward so it lines up yes. smack in the middle of your stud so right. you can increase the bore size yeah yeah so that's uh, not easy to do what we so how are you going to do that then you're going to make a well what we've got to do is because it's broken through into the stud there yeah i can see that yeah uh with only a little minimal amount of thread but we can uh once it's got the plate on uh we, what we might actually do is with some of our special resin mix mill that flat there yeah put a steel nut there and bond a steel nut into it mm -hmm. just to help it just yeah. to help it yeah. um we'll have to make a ring to go around the bearing yeah so it fits still which is that's that the idea. start of that yeah uh then what we can do is mill set that up in and mill a groove in there so it actually once it's in on its peg it can't spin it well it clears the bolt yeah okay if, if you make them in this if you make them in steel it's well there's no point because it's going in aluminium anyway yeah, so yeah. It, it, there'd be no point in doing it in steel okay. decent aluminium quality aluminium is mm -hmm. good enough right. uh, then we have we've we've actually we sat them on the dowels so yeah. the plate has actually been is that a new plate you've made or is that the, an old no, one this this was the egg yeah, it's been made but i had to i've had to take that out bigger because the original hole in it was lined the original, up with, with, yeah. so we've had to go bigger and then what we're doing is making a cap that, that is a bolt very, in. Yeah, okay that's a support and that so when the sprocket goes on yeah. the drive engine crank puller it's sat on two bearings yeah nice and strong which She's fine, yeah. eliminates She's fine. some worry hopefully yeah there's still a lot of work to do but it's okay. we're getting there yeah but what i've got to do is okay. only we've done three yeah, yeah. now that is still the original one yeah so what we've got to do on our big there. mitchell lathe yeah we're going, to machine, we're going to machine a mandrel up mm -hmm. in situ, yeah. clamp the cases on them three journals, yeah. and then bore this one out as well yeah, yeah. As, to, to match. To, to, to match. Okay. So it's a lot of hard work, but then that's what you've got to do yeah. if you want to. And you've done it to what, five cases? You said you've done five? I've done five sets of cases. Yeah. Um, yeah. In case you break one or two. Okay. Yeah, you, you're always better just do, do, well, once you set up. Yeah, once you set up, yeah, it's do, uh, quite good. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's so what you've been doing this last week. Yeah, and everything's just sat there. Well, the bottom end I need to get done anyway. I've yes, got to get the yeah, crank done. Yeah. Okay. Then I could, uh, there's a little bit of work just to finish on the gearbox selector. Okay. So, uh, and that's what's next. Uh, that's uh, hopefully. Okay. Right, well we last last week we saw you working on the supercharger cases, which I think have just been left now there, so they're done as well. Well, they, they can wait for a while because I want to get the frame it painted and I want to try and get the engine top end on. Yeah, yeah someone's leaving, it's all right. No. I want to try and get all that. Uh, okay, so we'll leave it done. there and so, uh, uh, I'll leave you to it. Got to make all the, uh, yeah, the liners can go, everything, just ready to rock. Yeah. Okay, well we'll come back in a week or so time and see how you've been getting on with it. How we're doing. Excellent. Okay. Until then. There'll be more to report. Yeah, thanks for watching uh -huh. and cheers.